Good morning. My name is Yvonne Graham, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our ninth annual Take Your Man to the Doctor campaign, a collaborative effort between the Bar President's Office, New York City Department of Health, and our borough's healthcare institutions and providers. For nine years running, we have been urging all Brooklynites, young and old, male and female, to encourage the men in their lives to get an annual health screening and develop a relationship with their health care provider. Why? Because according to New York City Department of Health, men in New York City live on average six years less than women. And more than one third of the deaths among men happen prematurely before the age of 65 compared with less than a quarter so thank among our partners women. in organizing Take Your Man to the Doctor, Best of Brooklyn, and the New York City Department of Health. And of course, we couldn't do this without our supporters and friends. Brookdale University Hospital and Medical Center, the Brooklyn Hospital Center, the Coney Island Hospital, Long Island College Hospital, Lutheran Medical Center, SUNY Downstate Medical Center, and Wyckoff Heights Medical Center. Let us all continue to work together to help our men and all Brooklynites live longer, healthier lives. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce our wonderful bar president, Marty Markowitz. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Yvonne. You'll notice, of course, when you're thin, you see Yvonne, she's got a sweater on. <laughs> to you, it's cold. To me, it's uh, nice and warm. Isn't it something? I love it. Anyway, thank you. And uh, welcome uh, to uh, our annual Take Your Man to a Doctor program. Let me expend, extend a very special welcome to our guests who are here in support of this ninth annual campaign. Let's face it, most of us men don't like to admit that we're vulnerable or that our bodies can break down. We like to think we've got everything under control and that the bad stuff won't happen to us. The truth is, by seeing a doctor regularly, diseases and conditions like HIV AIDS, diabetes, obesity, heart disease can be controlled or even cured. And that's why for the past nine years, We've worked together with some of Brooklyn's best health care providers to urge our residents to take your man to the doctor. If it weren't for my wife, Jamie, I might not have done the right thing four years ago when I had one of uh, my biggest scares, uh, which started out as a little chest pain, but actually it was a stomach ache and a bad stomach ache. And um, I was at a meeting not far from here and uh, began sweating and sat down in a chair waiting for the National Secretaries Association, Brooklyn branch, to invite me to speak. And I, which is very rare for me to sit down and sweating. So I got up, I had a bad uh, stomach ache and I gave a very brief speech and left. And I figured it was such a warm day I went right back to my apartment, put on the air conditioning, and thought maybe the heat had gotten to me. Well, that stomach ache stayed with me, and uh, I just wasn't feeling the right way. So, I got up, and Jamie said, let's go to a doctor, get you to the hospital. And I said, no, I don't think there's anything wrong. I probably ate too much, <laughs> what else is new? The night before, and it's catching up with me now. And uh, I felt better, actually. When I got up, I felt better. So Jamie said, I'm going to get in the car with you because I insisted on going to my next meeting. And when I got in the car, we were a block away, it came back, the pain. I didn't need a second warning. I said, yes, dear. And right, and right to the hospital I went, Maimonides in this case, right into the emergency room. And when they uh, uh, put on all the contraption for the heart and all, on the monitor, the nurse said that I was having an episode, a heart attack. And I said, maybe you're making a mistake. I said, 
It can't possibly be. But whatever the case might be, there's no question that uh, right after that, of course, two stints were placed uh, in an artery, and here I am today. I was lucky to have someone in my life who cared enough about me to make me go to a doctor. But let's face it, we men are not the best patients. We take care of our cars and our homes, even calling in the specialist when our engine doesn't sound right or the plumbing leaks. But we put off seeing a doctor about the aches and pains in our own bodies. We know when it's time to tune in the playoffs, but we don't know when it's time to get ourselves tuned up. Well, even go to the limit to make sure that our families and loved ones are getting the best care. But when it comes to ourselves, many of men just don't seem to care, to make it a priority. By the way, when we say take your man to the doctor, we're not just talking to women. To all the gay couples out there, and there are many that live in Brooklyn and New York, we say that you may not be able yet to come to the altar, although that day is coming soon, but you can take each other to the doctor during this campaign. So I want to make this, this plea this year more than ever. From my heart, take your man to the doctor. We don't care how you do it. Nag him, drag him, cajole him, entice him. In my example, my wife has promised me that she'll visit the kitchen. <laughs> that don't come often, let me tell you something. Not my household. We live by takeout, that's for sure. But remember, if you do, and, and succeed in getting that guy to a doctor, he will live to love you longer, and that's the bottom line. So, let me introduce, thank you very much, let me introduce Ron Law, Director of Intergovernmental Relations, Metro Plus. Jason? Uh, good afternoon, and uh, thank you, Borough President Markowitz. Uh, I'd like to thank you again for uh, sponsoring th this campaign, and Metro Plus is proud to be a, a proud sponsor of this, along with the other organizations and agencies and health care providers and uh, health institutions that are participating. Without your unwavering commitment to this uh, long-term campaign, this issue may just die, and we'd like to thank you for continuing this uh, effort and uh, encouraging people. And remember, to everyone out there, take your man to the doctor. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, preferred Health Partners is involved with us in so many things in this borough. Uh, so first, if I may, Dr. Leslie Kernesant, he's board chair, but right next to him is someone that we adore here in Borough Hall, Daphne Champagne. Isn't that a beautiful name? Champagne. Oh, look at Dr. Kernesant. <laughs> I love that name. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> Uh, once again, my name is Dr. Kernesant. I am the chairman of the board for the one of the largest privately owned multi-specialty medical group, the Preferred Health Partners. Again, I want to tell you how pleased I am to be a part of Marty's quest to make sure that Brooklyn is not only the best and the most beautiful bowl of the city, but also the healthiest. As you know, there's any questions at all? But today you can see we have all of our health care providers. So there's no excuse for those men that are women that are here today. If it's not today, take your man tomorrow. Okay. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you.